So how do you meet interesting people and grow your network in the work from home era? In this video, we're gonna share a strategy from a gentleman named Andrew Yu, who is formerly a product manager at LinkedIn, and as of most recently, a product manager for an extremely high profile political campaign, which by the way, was news to me. I didn't know that political campaigns had product managers, but apparently they do. So without further ado, let's have Andrew Yu introduce his TWOM strategy. It's when you take a conversation that happens on Twitter, and then you move it to Zoom. Makes sense, right? Twitter, Zoom, to womb. And so what that really means, without being a little facetious, is that you're taking a conversation that's happening on a social platform that you normally wouldn't consider could become something more engaging, like a real life conversation. Um, and so really at the core of it is the belief that you can take any interaction that happens online and form it into a real meaningful relationship. So here's Andrew explaining how this strategy came about and what sparked it. I saw a piece of content uh, posted by a product leader who's uh, someone who is a former executive at a big company, someone that I can very clearly say I wouldn't have had access to or been able to talk to if it wasn't for Twitter. And so I saw this piece of content, really well written, really impactful. I wanted to learn more. Instead of doing what I default would have done, which is just read the content, consume it, ingest it, great, move on, took the next step of DMing this person saying, hey, really liked this piece of content, specifically what about it, and would love to chat. And this person, of course, more was more than happy to do so. What I got out of it was, the best way I can put it, is the most high ROI nuggets of information that I've ever gotten because this person is an exec, really good at talking in exec terms. And the fact that I got 30 minutes of this person's conversation was just a delight for me. So this process, this strategy involves cold outreach. It involves sending a direct message to someone you don't know. And I don't know about y'all, but I still find that stressful. So Andrew is gonna share a quick story of something he figured out, a framework, a process, a strategy to just keep in mind when you reach out to someone cold for the first time. Good question, how do you start that DM? How do you even have that conversation in the first place? I'm gonna start broad and then be more tactical. So broadly speaking, it's actually an extension of a conversational technique I use in real life and in general, which is the way you talk to people is as if you're already talking to them. There's no, there's no intro, there's no, there's no pickup line, there's no, like, that's what causes friction. You're, you already know them, you're already talking to them. Like this is your third time you're talking to them in your, in your mind. So that's number one. And I mean, this has worked, I've experimented with this since I was a kid to like high school and you know, like it works. So that's number one. So that clears your mental block. To be more tactical, when you do send that first message, which again, you shouldn't even think of as your first message, it needs to be something that shows that you are providing value. And so what Andrew means by creating value here is that basically meeting anyone from a networking standpoint, from a business standpoint, you want to create value. And this is a whole set of videos unto itself. But when we think about people who write a blog post, whether you consider yourself a content creator or not, anyone who shares anything with the world, if you give them feedback on that, you are letting them know what's resonating or what's not. So if someone writes an essay, writes an article on LinkedIn, writes a blog post, whatever, if you tell them specifically why you liked it, you're giving them feedback so that their next piece can be that much more resonant. This is a way of creating value. If you wanna go above and beyond, you can even give them a suggestion for how to improve it in the future. Anyone who creates content is building a lighthouse, this lighthouse that is shining light everywhere. And when you take the time to tell them what you like about it, it's reflecting back. It's letting that light hit something and letting you know, okay, this is useful. I know the work I'm doing and it's guiding you as you create more work. So that is Andrew Yu's TWOM strategy. I thought it was really cool. I've since tested it a couple times and it's worked out great for me. And hopefully it'll work out well for you.